the scenes now. I do a lot of things behind the scenes. So you don't see a lot of updates nearly as much anymore for my channel. But, you know, when things get out, I figure it's a, amount of, it's a good amount of time. You know, to when things get quote-unquote declassified, I think it's a good time to come forth and tell people what is currently going on. And a lot of stuff has happened, and I haven't said anything, and I've kept quiet about it, and it's gotten out, and people are talking about it. So I figure well, now is a good time, for sure, to go out and quell some of the rumors and explain what's going on to people. Because you know how rumors are. You know, they go crazy, especially on stream monsters. <laughs> but anyway, um, first thing I want to say is a shout-out for MLG. Um, first off, as you see in this, this picture, this is Tokido and Luis Cha, you know, hyping up Mexico versus Japan. You know, they played a, a, a personal match. Uh, I was I'm trying to get them to run it back. It was on the stream. You know, people were trying to watch it. Uh, you know, I don't think everyone got to watch it, but so I'm trying to get it run back at first attempt if possible. If not, hey, at Evo, you know, I'll make them run it back again, you know, special edition or whatever. Um, but, you know, Luis Chow won 3-2, and I heard it was mighty close. I didn't even get to see it, but, you know, I wanted to see So, you know, we had the, the picture was nice because it will be a perfect, you know, this will be a perfect overlay for editing the video, per obviously. But um, shout out for MLG. I uh, want to give shout outs to The Answer and um, and um, uh, Juicebox Able again, man, uh, for the commentary and stuff and doing what y'all do. Greatly appreciate it, man. Everyone appreciates it. Um, it's like we all say, even though we're all pretty much, you know, yeah, you know, we all have our, our minds and visions and stuff, ways we're going about stuff. We're all pretty much still going about, you know, shooting for the same goal. So, uh, I mean, it's 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 uh, y'all keep up what you're doing. Y'all doing a good job. Uh, yeah, it's great. I mean, uh, shout out to Arturo, man. I mean, again, dude, uh, man, we've been talking about that for a while. You know, we finally got the Mexico versus Japan, and you know, got people getting to see that. But you know, I mean, uh, you know, hey, man, we tried. That's all we could say, dude. And you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to that. I'm gonna go back to that because uh, that's, if there's one thing that I am a little frustrated or a little angry about, it's the uh, it's the KOF community's response to showing up at Evo and nobody's showing up. But I'm gonna get to that later. Do not worry. Um, Okay, uh, shout outs to well, obviously Triforce. Uh, I'll just let you know he did play an integral part in all this. Uh, uh, we uh, agreed, and you know, uh, to LDA agreed to definitely team up with M with uh, Empire Arcadia and be a part of Empire Arcadia. To uh, we believe we can all get back to the golden age in KOF. But, you know, obviously I have a lot of resources to a lot of skilled players, many that you know about, and many that you don't know about yet. Yet in KOF, uh, you know, we decided to team up with it and. FYI, yes, Luis Chavez Empire, Empire LDA, you know, Empire uh, Empire ST LDA, uh, and Kula is also L Empire, you know. And I'm trying to get more, you know, bring Triforce to uh, tell people about other people, you know, that I uh, think should be Empire and you know stuff like that. And you know, he he actually played an integral part. You know, I got the ticket for Luis Cha, and you know, he was able to, you know, uh, with other people, I guess, get the get the get the money for the visa. So we turned that plus Arturo with the v MLG visa letter. And we made, hey, we made magic happen. And you see it right here. Magic is what you're looking at. Luis Cha from Mexico with a visa that's good for 10 years at MLG. And he was playing against Tokido and a lot of other people. So Arturo, man, mad props, dude. You know, we've been playing about this for a while. But, I mean, I don't know, bro. I'm going to come back to the whole issues with stuff later. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it because, you know, I don't really think it needs to be addressed much. But, yeah, yeah, man. Uh, you don't, you guys can't get mad at Arturo for you know, uh, if, 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 if KOF gets dropped in MLG, guys, it's a business region because you can all have no one to blame but the KOF community for not showing up. That's all it is to it. I mean, me, the answer, Juice Bucks, Able, Triforce, Arturo, you know, <laughs> guys, we can only do so much. You know, I can only do so much myself. They can only do so much themself, my, themselves. Uh, and, you know, I heard uh, so many excuses. You'd be surprised. Well, MLG's on this day of this other tournament. Well, people are saving up for Evo. Well, well, this... I don't want to hear it, you know. I still, I don't want to hear it. I mean, I, I don't. I don't. I'm, I'm trying to bite my tongue on this, and I am because um, it just reminds me of a lot of the stuff from the past, a lot of the past stuff, which you know, convinces me that again, what where my time is spent right now is for the better, because you know, I've got more, a lot more heart and dedication, <laughs> which goes to another topic. While we're at it, uh, heart, the, the dedication shit. People, you know, talking in the streams yesterday. You know, dang, why is Mexico so good at KOF? Why is Mexico so good at KOF? Blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm going to tell you guys. I mean, it's funny because I hear, you know, I heard some of the people, you know, uh, taking some shots at Mexico, the cultural values of Mexico, you know, and stuff. Oh, bootleg and this. The only reason they play is because of bootleg and stuff and blah, blah, blah. 
And, you know, I'm telling these people, hey, you know, it's fair game. If you're going to take a shot at another culture, then your culture is a shot at. And, you know, I think one of the main reasons is Mexico is dominating right now, for sure, in the United States, in KOF, is because of the cultural value. Mexico, the United States, is, it's got to be pretty. It's got to be flashy to play. And that's why you're losing in KOF, because you got these people that play in KOF since the beginning, and they don't care what it looks like. Doesn't have to be the flashiest graphics in the world, and they're gonna play it. And now you got, you know, which is a bittersweet double-edged sword. The Johnny Come Lately is playing KOF now, and uh, to a, as a as a whole, clearly no match for the Latin American skill level. As you see that from the results from tournaments. Now, I mean, final round was probably just the, you know icing on the cake. But ever since then, for sure, it's just been. I mean, <laughs> the results speak for themselves. Total domination. And, I mean, you know, it's, like I said, cultural values. I mean, like I said, you got people that have been playing KOF since KOF has been, you know, since the beginning. And that's like religion versus people who are, you know, just trying to start it now. Uh, no. I mean, you know, no. So, well, that's pretty much all I got to say about that. Now, let's see. Uh, I've talked about, oh, yeah, I got to show this logo as well. Well, while I'm at it, I'm just showing some of these pictures from MLG and stuff. And Luis Cha uh, showed you that. We have a DF Rambots 5 logo right here, which I'm still planning what I want it to be like. DF Rambots 4, we have the personal matches from KF13. They're going to happen, but this is going to happen when Luis Chuck gets back from, in, from EVO. He's going to EVO, he's going to CEO, hopefully this weekend looks like. And when he gets back from all that, we're going to finish the personal matches from DF Rambots 4 and start planning DF Rambots 5, how we want that. Now let's see if I can find another logo. One moment. Pardon. While I look for this. Oh yeah, another logo. I forget. I'm gonna change this really to. I'm gonna change it to another name, Battle for Chile. But we have a Chilean tournament going on this month as well. Uh, as I told you guys, I'm global. <laughs> you know, I'm not just focusing on one area. It's not just Latin America. I'm going global. I mean, we just pretty much. Uh, Moroccan Madness is pretty much uh, almost concluded, and I have results for them, and I have videos in progress as well. But let me look for another logo. Give me a moment. Aha. Aha. The prototype. Prototype Latin American Cup 2013 logo. I just hope y'all can see it. It's a early prototype. Thanks to combos. Early prototype of the Latin American Cup 2013 logo. Uh, I always see there's some corrections to it. And I'm going to add some more countries. Like that versus Angel Cool. That should be Kula. Obviously. With Angel character. But, you know, but we're adding more to it. Like we're going to, we might add Guatemala. We we're going to add um, Panama. So it's just going to get bigger. Very early prototype. And, you know, we are going to get this event streamed. I uh, have a, a streamer in mind we're going to use for this, so uh, just, you know, stay tuned. Um, as I feel it necessary to reveal more information, I will reveal more information. Uh, I'm trying to think what else here. Um, oh, yeah, also want to let you guys know, yeah, congratulations definitely to Bala for winning, uh, for winning uh, MLG. C congratulations to him for doing that, as I told Romance and Bala. Because I know they still they still support LDA and they still want to be a part of LDA and you know to want to be part of us with us you know I'm I, I look at it now for sure I'm like you guys are they're honorary LDA members they're always supporting us Bala wants no rivalry really between his Latin American brothers he didn't want them gunning him down hunting him down Bala believe it or not guys I hear y'all talking to the stream oh I hope some Japanese guy comes over and shuts up Bala and blah 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 Bala's actually pretty humble guys I mean he Bala he knows guys we talk. We still talking stuff, and he he understands, guys. That there's skills everywhere, skill everywhere, and there's anybody you know anybody can win at any given day, and no one is invincible, guys. He understands that, you know. I mean, come on, Bala's OG Mexico, guys. He's, I mean, I'm talking about Cano about it. Bala is OG in Mexico when it comes to KOF. I mean, he understands, guys. That there's so much skill out there, you know that uh, that he hasn't even seen. He knows, you know. So it's a lot of you guys thinking that he's, you know, more. I guess higher on himself than he actually is, and a lot of you guys are probably just jealous because he's winning. That you just want to see him lose. That's you know basically all it is to it. But uh, I mean, I tell Bob definitely to keep you know doing his thing, and congratulations to him. And you know, as I say, him and Romance, you know, etc. You guys are honorary uh, LDA members. You know, that's how I look at it. You're honorary LDA members. That's you know what I extend to you guys. We fight for the same cause. We go for the same things. You know, we're we're your honorary LDA members. I feel like you got you guys will always be LDA. You guys win, LDA wins. That's how I see it. You know, so I'm sure you guys see it the same way. You know, we don't want to be really, we don't want to fight against each other. No, we don't. You know, we want to help each other. So I look at it like that. You guys are LDA still. So again, you guys win. You go, you guys rep. LDA wins. You know, so that's how I see it. So just thought I'd get that out there. So uh, some people understand confusion or not knowing what's going on. That's how I see that. And you can talk to Ball and Romance guys, and 
they'll you know we 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 can we, we can see pretty eye to eye on that. You know they support I support them. You know they support me. We've all we've talked about a lot of stuff. So trust me, whatever you try to throw their way, more than likely we've been talked about it. So just uh, want to throw that out there to uh, mid confusion or whatever that might be going on. Uh, let's see what else I need to talk about here. Yeah, as I said, Luis Chow will be going to CEO. Um, trying to get him uh, accustomed to sticks because he plays with the rap Mexican sticks. So he's trying to get used to, to sound on sticks or whatever. But I don't use that as an excuse. You know, I don't like people making excuses. I don't like, I hate excuses, period. You know, if you come over, you win. You win, you win. Oh, you lose, you lose. It's period, guys. Uh, you know, people had other discussion in the stream about people playing cheap and stuff. And it's just like, you know, a win is a win is a loss is a loss. If it's legal, it's legal, you know. If the person's going to play this way to win, great. If he's not, it's great. You know, you can't expect everyone to like you, and you can't try to make everyone like you. Because if you stand for for nothing, you will fall for anything. So you gotta understand by you taking a stand and being you. There are people that are not gonna like you. They're gonna hate you. There are people gonna be jealous. The people are not gonna be jealous. They're just not gonna like you. These people, guys, you gotta understand, are a small fish in a very big ocean. Once you realize how big the world is, or you get a bigger grasp of how big the world is, you realize how so small and meaningless these people that are detracting from you and these enemies, these quote unquote haters, are. I mean, you know, when people, for example, you know, when people bring up the whole whatever U.S. drama or whatever stuff, to me, I laugh at it now because I'm just like, guys, I mean, y'all don't realize how global I am. You all, just because you small amount of people in whatever your sections or forums might not like me, doesn't mean the rest of the world does it. So, you just, I mean, I laugh at it. I'm like, and like you're talking about a few groups of fish and, and you know, a, a world, a, a, a great ocean. You're talking about groups of fish. Basically, in an entire ocean, bro. In like five or six oceans. I mean, what, 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 what does it mean anything? Does it hold any weight? Really? It doesn't. I mean, again, I mean, <laughs> so, you know, I, I can laugh at a lot of stuff that before I didn't even really laugh at before. I can laugh at it now. Uh, so, <laughs> but uh, let's see, what else? Um, yeah, Moroccan Madness update. Let's get to that right now. Okay, let's see here. Off my Facebook, we see here it's in progress, still unfinished. Rockin' Madness up one update. It says first place, KO thirteen, uh, S S S dash L D A Freezer. And it says uh, second MF Oba. I hope I pronounce it. I don't want to pronounce it correct. If I'm him pronounce it. Third place, I'm not gonna try to pronounce it. Uh, Moroccan Fighters, I think it is Moroc Fighters. And fourth place, Sammy. And in the 2002, we have that going on. And you know your finalist, you, you know, there's your finalist. I don't want to mispronounce the name, so I'm just gonna. Uh, and then KO uh, ninety eight. There's your finalist and you know it says it's not finished yet but videos are coming as i'm getting them now so so get y'all an update on that uh appreciate Moroc fighters for their contribution for the event you know we're gonna have one every month there's gonna be events every month and i told you guys i'm, I'm going global i mean you see the the, the, the logo LD world in my background that's that's it, that's the goal guys it's global global domination here that's the goal here we're gonna take over the world one country at a time i told you we're taking over the world from many different faucets, guys, because I don't believe I don't believe it. My mentality is, you know, basically, you know, anybody can win at any given time. You respect your opponent, you know, <laughs> and you realize that everyone is, you know, everyone's beatable. It's not about the nationality necessarily, guys. It's about the skill level. So you got to understand that. So, I mean, you know, uh, that's basically the whole purpose behind it. So we're, I'm finding talent all over the world. And you, you guys will continue to see this talent um, as it continues to grow uh, in different facets. So let's pull back. Okay, um, like I said, let's put back some stuff here. Let's see what else I need to talk about. DF, I taught you what DF Rainbow's for. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's about it, guys. Um, for now, I mean, if anything else comes up, I'll definitely let you know. I have the more logos and stuff coming up, and I'm just going to keep it at the end of videos until I need to make a super update like I'm doing right now. I need to make a really, really big update, then I'll make a really big update. But, you know, other than that, I, I think I've pretty much covered everything in this video. So, if you have any questions, uh, you know how to contact me. Uh